you're not joking. Modena may be a communist-run peasant town, but would you just look at what it makes? Right, that's enough looking. Let's get out there and burn some rubber. This is the fastest of them all, the Bugatti EB 110. I'd love to have been a fly on the wall at the meeting when they were deciding what sort of engine to put in this thing, because someone somewhere must have said, let's give it 12 cylinders, four camshafts, 60 valves and four turbochargers. Now, that person, he absolutely has to be an Italian. The thing I've noticed driving around Italy is that nobody seems to use the car simply as a means of transportation. I haven't seen anybody talking on a mobile telephone. Nobody seems to be just listening to the radio. Driving is something to be enjoyed. It's an art form. It's something to be done with grace and style and panache. And that's why when I get this Bugatti into the turbo zone, no one wags a finger. I'm driving a fast car quickly. And that, to an Italian, is the most natural thing in the world. But when it comes to getting noticed, the Bugatti is a shrinking violet compared to this piece of rolling thunder, the Lamborghini Diablo. I know all about the expression when in Rome and that I shouldn't really be wearing seat belts, but I'm British and I'm keeping them on. Besides, I don't really subscribe to the professor's idea of Italian road safety, good hospitals. This car is fast like no other. It's brutal. It's a 5.7 litre vibrator. <laughs> Having squeezed as much as they can out of that huge, huge engine, the only way to make it go faster is to start shedding weight. I've no radio, I've no electric windows, there's just acres and acres of carbon fibre. I love the Diablo, but it's an expensive truck compared to the best supercar of them all. The Ferrari 355. Ferrari don't always get it right. The old Testarossa was a dog and the Mondial looked like it's dinner. But with a 355, I just can't see any way they could make it better. Because it has a V8 engine, I can potter around in town all day long in sixth gear if I want. But because they've put five valves per cylinder in there, I can take it up to eight and a half thousand RPM. This is the nicest car I have ever ever driven. I honestly think it's fair to say that I am experiencing motoring perfection here. I can't think of a single way this car could be better. 